What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Lucky Three Piece, coming at you with a nice, helpful tutorial today to basically show you the route that I run when trying to farm LedX on Shoreline. Now, before we go and jump straight into the video, I do stream Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and also have a helpful Discord down in the description. So if you have any questions, pl please feel free to stop by the Twitch or hop into the Discord and just go ahead and shoot a question. Um, now, right off the bat, what we're going to be talking about is the keys. These are all the keys that I would recommend picking up go ahead pause the video take a nice look at it check out all the keys and stuff like that try and pick up whatever you can possibly get this key i would 100 percent pick up first 100 percent uh we can go ahead if you go and look at the price on the flea market right now they're going very very cheap very cheap and ledx spawns a lot of the times inside that room it's also just good to have you know because there's a lot of also miscellaneous tech, GPU, stuff like that, that could potentially spawn uh, golden chains, you know, circuits, stuff like that. <clears throat> a lot of these rooms, uh, not just will have a LEDX spawn, but they will have a bunch of miscellaneous other stuff that you can pick up along the way as well. So if you don't end up finding a LEDX, you'll most likely make a freaking pretty penny going in through all these rooms and picking up all the loot. A lot of the rooms, they spawn Tetris's, graphics cards, you know, there's you know blue key cards that are potentially that can spawn red key cards that could potentially spawn <clears throat> uh, so basically you're trying to figure out you're trying to get all the big ticket items right <clears throat> but these are basically all the keys that you will need for whichever rooms that require you to unlock them there are a couple rooms and a couple spots that led x's and red key cards tend to spawn that are basically like freebie spots that's what I like to call them. Um, they're rooms that you really don't have to, you don't have to use a key to open it. And it's a Lettix that could potentially spawn right there. Um, now, <clears throat> before we go and jump into the route, I will admit, I will say that this is a night raid that we'll, we will be doing. Uh, the first part of the video you will be seeing is the west and east side. Um, in detail of basically what route I run from, let's say, if I spawn on the east side. This is where how I will go about going through the east side. Um, if I spawn on west side, it's basically how I would go about it running through west side. Um, both of the routes are basically identical, but just backwards. Um, you'll probably notice it, but I basically try to hit as many birds with one stone. You know, so if you're able to go a certain route and it will give you an upper advantage, you know and it doesn't stop you and have you going back and forth back and forth throughout the whole building that way you can go clean run through and make your way on to the next part you know of the building of resort uh this is basically the kit that i tend to run you know it's pretty budget uh but if you know you don't need to have the quads and stuff like that this is all stuff that i can actually like afford as you can see i'm at 20 million so this is stuff that I'm comfortable with buying with, you know, and stuff like that. If you guys are low on money and stuff, I would recommend, you know, going as budget as you could potentially go. Maybe get yourself one of the, the singular um, NVG, you know, or something like that. Try and go a little bit more budget. You know, you don't have to bring in an AK-103. Maybe you don't know Shoreline all that well. Uh, go ahead, build yourself a budget kit. Go run it in daytime, offline. You know get to know the map know the spawns and stuff like that this is also a really crucial thing is knowing the spawns of the area so whenever you spawn it's you can know that hey there's a potentially a person off to my right side you know uh you, you need to know those things right before you end up going into this uh farming lead x's and stuff like that on shoreline at nighttime can be a lot easier but it doesn't mean you're not going to end up running into someone. And there's a lot of people that are still doing this and stuff like that at nighttime, but a whole lot less than if you were to, you know, run daytime. I guarantee you, you run daytime, no matter what, there's going to be at least a squad or something like that, you know? Uh, with running nighttime, it gives you the upper hand to maybe, you know, you don't want to loot west side admin and east side. Maybe you just want to loot west side and then go and dip and go through your back and just head over to rock passage something like that you know uh it just gives you a lot better opportunities plus it's also harder to see at nighttime so maybe you're a hatchling okay you want to run this as a hatchling 
uh, scabs and stuff like that, they're not gonna, they'll know exactly, they'll know where you're at. But let's say they stop nearby, they're not gonna instantly lock onto you because they can't actually see you. Hi, how are you? There's a lot of neat little things and stuff like that, but uh, if you do end up picking up, you know, some NVGs and stuff like that, you build yourself a budget kit. No matter what, this is the number one thing. This is the biggest thing that I have to say so far. Is get yourself a PKO6. Now, this is probably one of the other main reasons why this site is so ex so expensive. Sorry about that. Is because the singular dot in night vision. I'll show you right now, <clears throat> it does not give you a single glare. So if you were wanting to turn night vision on, go ahead. Off the lights. Back into hideout. Two seconds. On. Okay, let's enter. Uh oh. With the PK06, you don't get a single glare at all. So if you were to try and run, you know, an EOTech site, it has a giant reticle. That giant reticle is going to give you a massive glare when going to ADS. As right now, I can see my opponent. If I were to switch to an EOTech, you're going to have a massive glare, and you won't be able to see your opponent basically at all. Giving you the only opportunity to actually fight him with night visions on would be to hit fire. <clears throat> So having a PK06 and using it on the singular dot is a big help, and it, it does help tremendously. <clears throat> well, without further ado, let's go ahead. We're going to jump straight into it. Um, if you guys are liking the video so far and the video does end up helping you out and, you know, and you're able to get some juicy LEDXs and stuff like that, maybe get your med station going, stuff like that, go ahead, slap that like button, and if you would like to see any future content, Go ahead, hit that sub button as well. And if you have any ideas for any future content, go ahead and shoot that down in the comments just uh, down below. Thank you. Catch you in a bit. Okay, so here we are on west uh, west side of the resort. As you can see, it is daytime. Now, for the sake of the showing the route, I am doing this in daytime on offline raid. Just so that way you guys can see the exact route and where I go and basically what I'm doing. And the reason I'll end up explaining the reason why as of why I go a certain way versus another. Now right off the bat, <clears throat> we're gonna be running through. This is west. I'm gonna skip that right there. I'm gonna skip the brick wall. Now for the reason as of why I am skipping the brick wall is because a lot of people tend to run into there first. Running over here, you can run down the stairs, instantly checking for red key card. Now, if you've heard somebody, you would be able to go ahead and peek down the hall and you would have the upper advantage because they're stuck down there. They would have to be pushed out. <clears throat> Going from red key card spawn, we're going to run down, hitting up 112. <clears throat> Checking, of course, down here. See if there's players and stuff like that. Of course, there's not going to be any players. This is offline. Right here, checking for blue key card. Also, miscellaneous food. If you're ever hungry and stuff like that, you got two doubles. This is 112 on west side. Now running our way down to 104. <clears throat> checking for another blue key card. The blue key card spawns right here on the desk. As well as checking for miscellaneous meds and stuff like that. Now we're going to continue running down the hall. At this point, we go up the stairs. Making our way to 222. Where we unlock. This is a three-way room. So it's triple conjointed. We got M4 spawn. Grizzly. A whole bunch of different meds and stuff spawn right there. As well as a red key card right there. You know, our SAS potential spawn right there. Now we're going to continue running down this way. 
making our way out to this room right here, 220. Of course, checking down the hall, seeing if there's any players before we end up making our way over. Checking right here for golden stars, all these different miscellaneous meds picking up along the way. Checking for pro kill, rollers, bitcoin, and stuff like that, chainlets. <clears throat> making our way to 216 next, unlocking this, and then checking for check for graphics cards tetrises stuff like that as well as over here on the floor checking for you know good ammos different types of things <clears throat> you can also find uh grenade launcher shells over there checking for uh apparently a Letics can spawn right here but i have yet to find one um but checking right here for miscellaneous meds as well and we're going to continue running down the hall and at this point we go up the stairs Checking for PMCs, of course. Dip in the hole. Well, I'm dropping down the hole, but we're going all the way down to 301. Checking 301. Right here, Letix spawn right here. As well as you have Tetris, stuff like that, miscellaneous stuff. Running down this way, you got Letix spawn right there. A Letix spawn right here. Letix spawn on the bed. <clears throat> running down and then we drop down the hole checking right here checking down the hall check to our left hitting 205 checking for another lead x and there has been some teasing of a potential red key card i have yet to actually see one spawn but that's where the lead x would spawn and people have been saying a red key card can spawn right there so not wouldn't hurt to go ahead and check a bunch of different loot boxes stuff like that now we're gonna make our way to admin building that's everything for west building we done looted it all we're gonna go ahead and make our way through the back part which i think is the safest <clears throat> reason as to why i think it's the safest is because running through there you're easily spotted from the other stories and stuff like that as well as people can see you in admin now we're gonna run down this way checking for let x spawn right there running up the stairs we're gonna check for a red key card spawn looking down over here also we're checking for another key right there that can spawn at the corner of the desk right there looking over here checking over here got another spawn right there opening this door along the way checking for graphics cards tetrises stuff like that <clears throat> checking in here as well for them and then the red key card spawns right there under under the uh the ashtray okay spawns under the ashtray then you have another computer over here and all this other stuff and then you have the admin safe key right here unlocks that safe <clears throat> you also have another computer right there miscellaneous spawns as well as all the desk now after we're done looting admin i would say that's about it for looting on admin Checked for the red key card, checked for LEDX. Now we're making our way over to East. Starting from over here, I would say we're gonna go ahead and start from below. <clears throat> gonna go ahead, run down, hit up key with tape. This is key with tape, it has the little red hand. Checking for another LEDX right here on the floor, right there. Checking for another LEDX right there. And then also looking for miscellaneous meds. They can spawn up on top, right there, over in the corner. Miscellaneous meds can spawn right here, right here. And then you have uh, gold chains, horses, uh, stuff like that can spawn right there. Um, <clears throat> hinted that Bitcoin, you know, graphics cards, stuff like that can spawn right there. And then you have more med spawns right there. Checking 107. I am pretty sure this is a lead X spawn or yeah, this is a lead X spawn. So either lead X can spawn right in there. <clears throat> this is also a graphics card spawn right here. Lead X and stuff can potentially spawn inside here. It is very rare, very, very rare. I think I've had it happen once. I don't want to be for sure though. I think I've found one right there. But then we're going to make our way up to the top. Now this is another freebie spot. You can check this room for a Letix that can potentially spawn right there. Now the freebie rooms is going to be really rare if you do find a Letix. 
Now, before we go and open 222 on the east side, we're going to check over here in room 218 on the east side for another red key card, which could spawn potentially right there. <clears throat> and that'll be it for the red and blue key cards that could potentially spawn. Making our way to 222 right here on the east side. Checking for graphics cards, Tetrises, and all that right there. Coming over here, checking for Bitcoin, Lion. Bitcoins, Lions, and stuff like that. Cats can all spawn in there. We got a couple crates right here. Then the best part, we got, you know, potential sugar, you know, condensed milk, stuff like that. Ledexes spawn in here. There's three potential spawns for a Ledex, as well as a shotgun can spawn leaning up in the corner right there. <clears throat> Making our way out of 222. We're going to run down to the left. We're going up to 328. This is another Ledex spawn. You got Ledex that can spawn right there at the corner of the table, as well as you also have graphics cards and stuff like that can that can spawn right there. You also have miscellaneous uh, mods that spawn right here. <laughs> and in the other room directly over to the left, which I really, I always pass up on this, but gold chains and stuff can spawn right here, cats and horses. Now running down the hall. Now this is uh, an honorable mention, is 316. 316 is honestly a really good room. Um, you find a whole bunch of weapon mods and stuff like that. I've found tons and tons of like really expensive weapon mods, you know. Uh, different sites spawn right here, different suppressors. I've had like four suppressors spawn right here. Each one was like, two of them were like worth 40, the other two were like 80, it was crazy. But then heading over to 313. Checking for another Ledex, which is the second to last Ledex spawn, which is right here at the top on the corner. Then making our way to 310. Opening 310, checking for, you know, gold chains, lions, bitcoins and stuff like that. Bitcoin, lion, uh, golden clocks, golden roosters. Yep, roosters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then we're gonna check the stairs, of course, you know, make sure there's no people or anything like that making our way down Now we're gonna hit up the last room 306 306 is honestly a really good room. You have four PC uh, PCs that you can search as well as you have golden chains uh, Stuff like that that can spawn in there. Then you have right here. This is for Ask and then you have another let spawn right here under the magazine or right here. I don't know. I've never found it in this. Being honest. But I know there is one. I let X spawn in there. Now we're going to be going ahead and making our exit. And this is whenever I would be like, okay, I'm done with resort. I got exactly what I wanted. Go ahead. Deuces. So you made your way over to east side. This is the route that I normally take whenever coming from the east side. I normally stick over onto the right side. That way I don't get shot from anybody that's up front. <clears throat> now running through, you always want to check your right and stuff like that. Make sure that there's no people and stuff, but also be checking those windows and stuff. Vice versa on the other side as well. So I always come in, run directly over to Key with tape, <clears throat> checking key with tape first. Checking a nice little lead X right there. Checking for a lead X, no. Checking for others, got the horse. Checking for other stuff right there. Right there as well. Coming to 107. Checking right here, checking right here. <clears throat> Now we're gonna go ahead, making our way up the stairs, checking for the freebie. Won't see no freebie Ledex. Gonna run down, check for the freebie red key card. 
next to the bloody laptop. No red key card. I'm running my way back down, heading up 222. Checking for, of course, graphics card, anything like that. Checking for Bitcoin, lions, cats, you know, rollers, stuff like that. Checking over here for sugar, milk, anything, you know, good. <clears throat> of course, checking for that Letex. Could also potentially spawn under the serve kit and stuff like that. You got the, you know, potential shotgun spawn. Going ahead and running our way. But making our way back over towards 328. In 328, checking for graphics card Tetris, you know, Letix as well, right there. As well, as you got a bunch of different miscellaneous spawns. Now, running our way down, hitting up the, the nice honorable mention, the 316. Going ahead, checking for mods, anything like that. Running over, hitting up 313 while looking for a Lennox. Right there. <clears throat> Not passing 310. We're hitting 310. Hitting up, checking right here, checking for, you know, Bitcoin, gold chains, all that miscellaneous stuff. <clears throat> Making our way over to 306. Checking like computers, you know, checking for gold chains. <clears throat> checking for that other Ledex spawn. Now we go ahead and we make our way down, heading over towards admin. Basically doing the same thing as if we were coming from West End. Running through the back area. Till we get all the way over here. Boom. Checking for Ledex, no Ledex. Running up the stairs, checking for red key card. As well as the key at the corner of the desk. Got that loop, that loop. Opening that along the way, checking right here, checking for red key card under the ashtray. Checking over here, you know, for graphics cards, Tetrises, stuff like that. Checking all around. Checking over here. If you have the safe key, you can go ahead and hit it up. I don't normally get the safe key because right here is a really scary spot. You have people that are trying to complete their tasks and stuff. You have people that'll go up onto that little mountain sniping through the windows and stuff like that. <clears throat> but then we go ahead, run down this way. Now out through the back. Heading all the way over here. Now instead of hitting up those rooms on the first floor, I'm gonna go ahead, run down here, check for the red key card, like normal. But instead, you run all the way up to 301. Hitting up red key card and 301 first. Checking for Ledex, checking for Tetris, checking for the Ledex, checking for Ledex right here, Ledex, Ledex, no Ledex, and then right here is also a good thing I would also hit up because of potential for Red Rebel. And running down, dropping through the hole, dropping through the hole, <laughs> heading up 205. As we hit up 205, we're also going to be looking for <clears throat> Ledex right there at the table. Then running over here to the other side of the room and the mysterious quote-unquote red key card that everyone's been talking about. Now we continue making our way down here. Of course, jump over. Unlocking 216 first. Checking for graphic card, Tetris, you know, uh, G phones and stuff like that as well. 
um, looking over here for grenade, uh, grenade launcher rounds, stuff like that, different good ammo, 995 stuff like that. Um, looking for lead X right here and also other miscellaneous um, meds, like SJ6, stuff like that. Running down here, hitting up 220. Checking, of course, for golden, golden stars, stuff like that. SJ6, you know, Vaseline. Coming over here, looking for rollers, checking for Bitcoin rollers, um, golden skulls, cats, stuff like that. Making our way to 222. 222. By the way, all the rooms, for each room that is opened, I will be having, um, up in the top left what key it is for that room and then right here of course grizzlies you know golden stars stuff like that i find a lot of golden stars spawning right there up on the top and then checking for red key card right there grabbing whatever sugar condensed milk stuff like that of course m4 spawn and then from here, this is where we go and we loot the rest of the bottom. We're gonna go and see if there's anybody that has been walking around, you know. Came over on this side, not seeing nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's hit up 104. Oh, no blue key card, nothing like that. Okay, go ahead, make our way down to 112. Hit up 112. Checking for the blue key card right next to the TV. <clears throat> and then any miscellaneous food or anything like that. And then the two duffels. And then we go ahead and make our exit. As well as hitting up these spots right here, checking for other miscellaneous stuff. And then make our exit and go to whatever, you know, extract that we have. And then the next raid that you guys will be seeing is going to be an online raid. Uh, it will be the last video, uh, last part of this section, but this was basically the route that you will be needing to take whenever doing the nighttime raid, which of course this is nighttime. You can do it during the day, but the reason why I'm saying do it during the night is because there isn't as many people. And so you'll have a lot more success doing it, but I'll catch you in the online raid. Okay. As you can see, it is dusk. And we are going to be making our way all the way down to resort. Spawned over by the swamp. I would recommend picking up an SJ6, especially this uh, late in the wipe. It is very cheap. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Assuming I'm probably one of the first people here on West Side. Also, don't always assume that. Because <clears throat> there are a lot closer spawns. Checking the windows, making sure nobody's trying to get that cheeky freak. Because we don't have any spawn campers. Not spawn campers, but... We're gonna go ahead and slowly make our way down.
Back in for red key card. <clears throat> now let's go ahead. Let's give ourselves a little listen. seen anything so far let's so let's get this going try and be quick about it no blue key card over off of the east side another reason why i do come in from the other side is because if somebody follows right behind you check for blue key card blue key card not right there Take the hemostat. Let's go to two, two, two. I'm grabbing everything. Golden star. Boom. Really need the bandage. Checking for red key card. Bandage isn't worth it. Not seeing nothing. Oftentimes, as well, whenever you're peeking out on the balconies, you can hear people running up. Keep that out. Keep an eye. Checking 220. Kill, you can go ahead and gamma that. Worth more than the Zagustin. Circle board, that's a good trade. Spark plug. Trap 10. Jumping around. Assuming they're outside. So we're gonna run over to the front. Second 301. We're gonna try and leave this area and head over towards east. They're not trying to get sniped. That's what sounds like what we got right now. Some snippers. Hiding behind. Oh, nothing good so far. Loud shot. On up for front. No red key card. No Linux. Of course, you know, people could have 100% been over here, so we gotta keep our wits. You know what I'm saying? Checking for a key that can spawn right there. Nope. Nothing. Red key card, nothing. Don't wanna be in that room for too long, because it is a sniper, like I said. So, go ahead, let's make our way down. be listening like that's been open
I'm assuming that this person is, of course, looting everything right now. Assume he had made it right there, and we're gonna assume he's up on third floor. Okay. Okay, some of the rooms haven't been open. There could have been a scav. That could have also been a hashling. There could be a scav down at the end. That would be the gunshot, the shotgun shot that we heard earlier. Nothing so far. Someone could have just came here, hit up you with tape, and decided, you know what, screw it, we don't need to hit up any other room, right? <clears throat> Keep your eyes out. There could very much be someone just camping around, trying to get a cheeky preak on someone. So it looks like the person hit up he with tape and decided to dip. That's cool for us. Go ahead and check all the other spots. And he decided not to hit. This room is one of the better rooms for finding the lead X. As well as you have some good potential for Tetris or <clears throat> another pro kill. Anything Gucci and no Lidex so far. <clears throat> let's go ahead, let's make our way up the stairs. Heading up 328. <clears throat> Checking for a graphics card as well as Tetris, stuff like that. Hundred round mag. End up three sixteen. B thirty three. Now you guys can also spend more time and loot those crates and stuff like that. Because there's some really good spawns now. For, you know, like armor and stuff. There's some really good spawns. <clears throat> and so, it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and take some time and search those. I'm not right now, just for the sake of what's going on in this raid. There could potentially be someone just chilling about or something like that. And it's also light out. Normally when you run this, it's not gonna uh, be light out. The reason why it was light because it was four whenever I went for my raid. But then we're gonna hit up the last room. We're gonna search all these computers. And we should be able to hear him approaching from our right. Not seeing anything. Looks like we got a dead scav right there. So that guy probably had a shotgun. He went and searched to key with tape, found a lead X, and decided to leave instantly. Most likely. 
We're gonna hit up one more honorable mention. A good room to hit up. It's 206. The sketchy room though. Back and of course everything. Coming over here looking for different stuff. Now normally I don't hit up that room, but it was just for extra money potential. Now we go ahead and make our way out. Now that we found an SJ6 while running through, we're gonna go ahead and pop it so that way we have unlimited sprint basically. It'll completely increase our run time. <clears throat> Trying to Velma, you know, if you start getting shot at, try not to stay going in one straight line. Because if someone does try to take the shot at you, you'll have a a lot better chance if you're constantly moving going left to right left to right you know until you reach basically that giant wall right there that's what you're trying to get to and once you reach the wall you're pretty much safe until you mainly that right there that's what you're wanting to wait for but do keep your eyes about because there's People that like to snipe over here to our right, they will sit right there and they'll try and take shots and snipe and stuff like that. Um, you also have people that like to lay down and along the little bridge, like the brush and stuff like that. And they'll try and pick you off as you go uh, and run and make your way through. <clears throat> Which, getting out with Aletics is the key. Um, because if you... If you end up dying with the Letix, it loses a lot of its potential value. But for say, let's say you're going for, you know, you're just trying to complete a task. You can very much complete the task without having to, you know, deal with that annoying, you know. Oh, now I have to go and buy one and stuff, you know. We're not going to talk about that. But okay. But yeah. <clears throat> and so then you go ahead, you make your way out. Of course, I didn't pick up a bunch of stuff. I was more considered, uh, concerned on, you know, making it out of the raid, surviving and stuff. But I tried to make it quick as possible and, you know, not spend as much time looting and stuff. Which, like I said, you guys can take your time and, you know, loot up. You know, I got out of the raid within 15 minutes. <clears throat> it's It was honestly like a quick little speed run. But if you go ahead and you take 10 extra minutes, you know, searching every single crate, stuff like that. You can make it out of there with a bunch of stuff. The main reason also, um, if you are just specifically looking for lead X's, it would be the smarter thing to sit there and try and hit up every room as fast as possible. So, if your main goal is going for lead X's, skip the crates, skip all that stuff, go directly for the lead X, the red key card, and the blue key card. Okay? Pick up all the, you know, visible items that you can actually see that are out in the open. Pick up that stuff. <clears throat> That'll give you potential loot along the way, you know, so that way if you don't come across a Lead X, like what happened for this raid, you still make a pretty penny selling all that, you know, maybe the gold star. It's like 80,000, you know, selling the Vaseline, another 30 to 40, you know, that's, <clears throat> it adds up over time. But once you do get a Lead X, Gamma that bad boy. Um, if you are needing Aletics for, you know, certain quests, they do not need to be found in raid. Uh, I know for the one that you need to get the thick case, it does not need to be found in raid. So if you are trying to farm Aletics and stuff like that, and ophthalmoscopes, this is an amazing way to do that. Um, or if you're trying to get that medical station, it's a great way to do that as well. But thank you for the, you know, Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped a bunch. And if it did, please go ahead and slap that like button. And go ahead. If you want to see future content and stuff, hit that subscribe button, you know. Um, 
if you guys have any other videos that you would like to see and stuff like maybe uh, me going over raids on like how I attack like whenever I'm going in fights you know I go over and I just address what am I thinking throughout a raid and stuff you know stuff like that if you guys have any other questions or you know or wanting to see other stuff go ahead and shoot that down in the comments or go ahead and hop into the discord and then you can go ahead and shoot that into general you know ask questions and stuff about Tarkov uh, or if you're trying to get you know live support from Sunday Monday Tuesday go ahead and hop into the stream and feel free to ask questions without further ado hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night slash day whatever time you are watching this and peace